friends, today I will share cutting and stitching of short kurti with patiala salwar. I have already shared cutting and stitching of patiala salwar in my previous video. You can click the above link to check it out. And now let's get started. So uh, I have taken 1.5 meter of fabric as the print of this kurti is of grain. So I have taken two lengths and now I will mark the vertical points. Firstly I will mark the length of the kurti which is 35 inch. So I will mark a point at 35 inch. And I will mark 1 inch for seam allowance. Now from the top mark a point at 6.5 inch from this point go 7 inch downwards and mark the point this is the waist point again from this point go 7 inch downwards and mark the point now I will extend these points so I have extended these points and now I will mark the shoulder measurement shoulder measurement is half of your shoulder measurement in my measurement shoulder is 13.5 inch so half of it is 6.75 so I will mark a point at 6.75 inch and I will mark the same point on the burst line too 6.75 inch and now I will join these points now from this point go 1 inch inwards and mark the point and now join these points too for neckline from the center go 2.5 inch inwards and mark the point if you want the broader neck you can mark a point at 3 inch or 4 inch and from this point take the depth of your front neckline and mark a point in my measurement front neckline is 6.5 inch so I will mark a point at 6.5 inch again from this point go 2.5 inch inwards and mark the point now I will join these points to form a rectangle from this point go half inch downwards and now join these points This is the shoulder slope. Now I will mark the burst, waist and the hip measurements. So burst is 8.5 inch, waist is 7.5 inch and hip is 9.5 inch. Now I will join these points. .5 inch I will add 1 inch for the ghera so I'll mark a point at 10.5 inch and now I will join these points too now I will add 1 inch of seam allowance Now join these points too. And now I will make the front and the back shoulder curve. So 
so the marking is complete and now i will cut it cut the front neck while stitching and for the back neckline i will make the same rectangle i'll mark a point at 2.5 inch and from this point i'll take the depth of my back neckline which is 5.5 inch so i have marked the point at 5.5 inch again from this point go 2.5 inch inwards and join these points to form a rectangle and now i will make the back neckline shape which is round neck and now i will cut it so and this is the back neckline and now i have to cut the front shoulder curve and for that firstly i will separate the back and now i will cut the front shoulder curve So the cutting of my kurti is completed and now I will cut the sleeves. Now for sleeves I have taken half meter of fabric and now I will turn it like this. As I am making for the sleeves, the length of my sleeve is 18 inch and this is a directional print and I, uh, we have to take care of that. So. Uh, what will i do i'll cut it from here now turn the direction of the print like this now both flowers are going upwards and now i will cut the sleeve and for that fold the fabric like this now i will mark the sleeve length which is 18 inch so i will mark a point at 18 inch and 1 inch for seam allowance and from the top mark a point at 3.5 inch and now i will extend these points now i will mark a point at 6 inch from the top and at 11 inch this is the elbow point and now i will extend these points too now i will mark the sleeve round measurements at 6 inch sleeve round is 11.5 inch so i'll mark a point there at elbow point sleeve round is 11 inch so i have marked the point at 11 inch and at the wrist sleeve round is 9 inch so i will mark a point there and and now i'll mark the shoulder length shoulder length is chest round divided by 4 minus 1 inch in my measurement chest round is 32 inch so by dividing it by 4 i will get 8 inch 
and by deducting 1 inch I will get 7 inch so I will mark a point at 7 inch now join this point with this center point like this and also I will join these points Now measure this length, it's 8 inch and now I will divide 8 inch into 3 parts. So uh, dividing by, so dividing 8 inch by 3 I will get 2.6. So I will take round measurement at 2.5 inch. So I have marked the point at 2.5 inch twice. And now from this point, go half inch upwards and mark the point. And similarly from this point, go 1 fourth inch downwards. Now join these points like this. This is the back sleeve curve. And now for front, from this point, go downwards, touch this point and take it to the end. And now I will mark the seam allowance of 1 inch. And I will join it and cut it. Mark the center point like this and now I will cut the firstly I will cut the back curve Now take the two layers of the sleeve and I will cut the front curve So this is the front curve on two layers and back curve on two layers and this is the sleeve and now cutting off my kurti is completed. Now I will stitch it. For stitching I will begin with the neckline. So I had marked a point at 2.5 inch and the depth is 6.5 inch. Now from the center I will mark a point at 3.5 inch that is 1 inch extra. So I have marked the point at 3.5 inch and similarly I will mark the same point over here. So I have marked the point and joined these points. Now I will make the round neckline shape with this 3.5 inch point so this is a round neck now from this center point go 1.5 inch inwards and mark the point and now from this point, go 1 inch upwards and mark the point. 
Now from this point go 1 inch upwards and mark the point. Now from this point go 1 inch inwards and mark the point. And now join these points. Now I will mark the 1 inch measurement till the top of the neckline in the round shape. This is already the difference of 1 inch. Now make the round shape. So this is a neckline shape and now I will cut it from here. So I have cut the neckline and now I will cut this shape too. Like this. So cutting off the neckline is completed and now firstly I will finish this round shape. Now to finish the neckline, I have taken this same fabric piece and I will attach it with the neckline. Right sides facing each other. So I have attached the neckline and the fabric with the help of pins and now I will stitch them together. So I have stitched the neckline and now I will trim the excess fabric. So I have finished the round neckline shape. Now I will trace this shape on the contrast fabric. I have taken 4 layers of this fabric, 2 for each side. I have traced the shape and I have left half inch seam allowance on all sides and now I will cut it. So I have cut it and this is how it looks. Now I will trace the same shape on the pasting buckram. No seam allowance is required, just trace the exact shape and cut it. So I have traced it and now I will cut this shape. So I have cut it and now I will paste it on the fabric. So I have pasted the buckram on the two pieces of contrast fabric and now I will finish them. To finish this, I have placed it on the other piece which doesn't have the pasting buckram and now I will stitch it from here till this point. So I have stitched it and now I will make cuts over here so that I could turn it easily like this. I have made the cuts and now I will turn it. One side is completed and now similarly I will stitch the other one. Now both pieces are ready and I will attach them with the neckline. Now I have attached both pieces to the neckline with the help of pins and now I will stitch them together. Front neckline is completed and now I will make the back neckline. Now to finish the back neckline I need bias strip and for that I have taken this rectangular piece of same fabric and I will fold it diagonally like this and now I will cut the bias strip like this. So I have cut the bias strip and now I will stitch the back neckline. I 
have attached the bias strip with the back neckline and now I will trim the excess fabric. I have trimmed the excess fabric and now I will attach the front and back shoulder slopes on both sides. Now I will stitch the fitting seam on both sides. I have stitched the fitting seam on both sides and now I will stitch the slits and the bottom of the kurti. You can also hem the bottom uh, if you want to hem then you will uh, have to leave the seam allowance of around 3 inch. I have stitched the slits and the bottom of the kurti and now I will attach the sleeves. Firstly mark the exact length of your sleeve which was 18 earlier but now I'm making 17 inch sleeve so the exact length of my sleeve is 17 inch and now I will deduct 1.5 inch out of it so I will get 15.5 inch and I will add half inch for seam allowance so I have to mark a point at 16 inch And I have extended the point now I will cut it on this line I have taken 4 inch of fabric it's two layers and now I will paste this pasting buckram over this fabric this is 1.5 inch wide so I have pasted buckram on both the pieces and I have folded it like this this is on fold and now I will make a stitch from this point till this point on the both pieces so I have stitched it and now pull this piece from the one side and you will get piece like this then you just need to press the crease on both sides so my both pieces are ready so I have four strips and I have folded it and pressed it this is on fold and now I will attach it with these pieces so I have attached the purple fabric with the green one and now I will make a top stitch on the both sides So I have attached the piping on both sleeves and now I will stitch the fitting seam on both sleeves.
both sleeves are ready and now I will attach them with the kurti. Now to attach the sleeve with the kurti, you need to insert the sleeve into the shoulder and join the center points like this and the shoulder slope and the shoulder center on sleeve and then pull them together both sleeve and kurti are equal and now I will stitch them together So my kurti is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.